Hi, I am Virendra Rajput from CAD Learning Resources. In this Katia tutorial, you will learn to draw this complex 2D sketch. So let's start. Click on Start, go to Mechanical Design. Click either on Part Design or Sketcher. Enter Part Name, Complex 2D Sketch 1. Click OK. Click YZ Plane and click scale first we'll start with this circle of diameter photo so click on click here drag the mouse click here click constraint drag the mouse click here double click on the dimension value type 44 from keyboard and ok click on the center point Press and hold control and select the vertical axis. Click constraint, drag the mouse, click here, double click here and take distance 20. Press enter. Click on axis, click here and draw one horizontal axis line. Now switch on construction element mode. Click circle and draw one concentric circle of diameter 30. So double click here, type 30, press enter. Click outside. Now switch off construction element. Click circle and when this circle and this line becomes orange take this as a center point of the circle drag the mouse click here click constraint click here double click and this smaller circle is of diameter 6 so type 6 from the keyboard press enter select this smaller circle click down arrow of the mirror and click rotate so these are seven small circles one is already drawn here so take six instances click the point of rotation and give the angle value 51.4 because 360 degree divided by seven it comes approximately 51.4 and click OK. Now you will observe these two circles are in green color. This means it is fully constrained. If I pick this and try to move, it won't move. But when I pick this circle and drag, so its location and dimension changes. So it is not fully constrained. So keep in mind whenever you draw any sketch it should be fully constrained that means it should be in green color so just control Z now click here now click here and drag the mouse select these circles and click here on the down arrow and choose auto constraint now you have to give reference element I will use this vertical and horizontal line and click OK. Now you will see everything is green. Now it is fully constrained. If you want to hide these dimensions, so click here in the specification tree, click on sketch one, click on constraint and click here, press and hold control and select everything that you want to hide right click here and click hide so everything is disappeared again you can minimize this now we will draw this outer circle of diameter 100 and for this center point will be this so click circle click here as a center point and 
draw one circle click constrain and click here double click on the value and type 100 press enter now let us draw this profile click on the down arrow of the circle and select last option that is arc select center point then click here drag the mouse and click here click on constraint click here so this is r40 double click here type 40 press enter again take arc now take this center point drag the mouse click here and click here again click constraint now this is r25 click here double click type radius 25 ok click on line click here at the end point and draw one horizontal line click on constraint click this line and this line this distance will take 5 mm and ok now, now take corner select this arc and this line drag the mouse click here double click on the dimension value take radius 5 and press ok again take corner select this arc and this arc drag the mouse double click on the dimension value type 5 press enter again take corner this line this arc drag the mouse double click here type 5 press enter now select this press and hold control and select complete profile now click on the down arrow and select first option mirror and click this horizontal line so it will be mirror on the opposite side now double click on circle click here and, and draw two concentric circles to come out of the command click circle click on constraint and again click on constraint and give dimensions now double click here so we have 530 and 560 diameter so make it 30 press enter double click here 60 enter click constraint select this vertical axis and center point drag the mouse click here double click this distance is 110 and press enter now we will complete this part so take axis click here at the center and draw one inclined axis line click here now select this line press and hold control and this line click constraint click here so this angle is 51 degree double click on the dimension value type 51 press enter now we have to draw two circles of diameter 50 and 21 so double click on the circle click here again another circle click here click on the circle to come out of the command so click this point and you can drag this again you can drag this and 
locate it properly now double click on the constraint select this click here select this click here so this is 21 press enter double click here 50 enter now select the center point and this center point click here this distance is 127 double click on the dimension value type 127 okay so to come out of the constraint command click on the constraint now we'll draw these tangent lines so click on the down arrow of the line and choose third option that is by tangent line select this circle and this circle double click by tangent line select this circle and this circle again this circle this circle one more time by tangent line to come out of the command click on by tangent line now take corner select this line and this line drag the mouse click here so this is r12 double click on the value type 12 press enter click on the down arrow take line and click somewhere here and draw the parallel line so symbol of parallel is shown here as soon as the parallel symbol is shown click here now click on the constraint select this line and this line drag the mouse press here so this is 10 double click here type 10 press enter now take corner select this circle and this line drag the mouse click here double click here and radius is 5 type 5 press enter but you will observe this circle is also trim so to close this circle just click on the down arrow of trim and choose the fourth option that is close and then click this circle similarly we can complete arc here so take corner select this line and this circle drag the mouse click here double click on the dimension value type 5 press enter again select close and select the circle select this press and hold control and select these three elements click on mirror and select horizontal line so this is done similarly we have completed this profile here so in this way we have completed this complex 2d sketch one thank you for watching please subscribe like and share thank you very much